the book Watching Paint Dry. Now today we're going to go over how you paint new wood window trim. Now say you had your old single pane windows replaced and you got new vinyl windows and they put wood trim on the inside. That's what this video is about. Now the first thing I did to this window after getting all the dust off it with a duster brush is I ran blue tape all the way around the edges on the vinyl windows. Okay, now under normal circumstances that might be enough. I, I might not need to cover up the whole window, but if you just want to protect your new windows, use your masker and some 12 inch paper and just cover up the whole window. Okay, now the next step after taping is you want to fill the nail holes with spackle, okay? And a lightweight uh, spackle that doesn't shrink will do the trick here, alright? Now the first thing you might want to do, especially if you have a lot of nail holes to fill, if you had all your windows replaced, is make what I call a spackle ghost because it just makes spackling quicker and easier. And here's how you do that. Take a big scoop of spackle and stick it right in the middle of a piece of your painter's plastic. Then turn it into a ghost. Put a piece of tape right around the neck. Then take a nail and poke a little hole right in the end of it. Now this is going to dispense spackle in a way that's much easier to get into little nail holes than if you're trying to scoop it out of the bucket every time. Okay, so we filled the nail holes and now the spackles had time to dry, so what we're going to do is some sanding. Alright, now what I like to use is one of these sanding sponges. You can get a medium or a fine grit. They just do a really even job. You know, they're nice and straight. They're really good for getting in the corners and the edges. Alright, I also like to wear a dust mask anytime I'm sanding, okay? You really want to smooth that down there in those corners so you don't leave any spackling paste out there that will show up later. Okay, now we've vacuumed up the dust and now it's time to do the caulking, alright? Now, I like to caulk every joint in the new window trim so that it creates a really nice, solid, finished look, okay? That includes these joints down there in the corner. All these right here, and also we're going to have to caulk where the new trim meets the wall, okay? Now, you're going to want to cut the tip off your tube and do just really small opening at about a 45 degree angle because you want to be very precise. However, the gap over here where it meets the wall is often going to be bigger, so you might even want to have a separate tube of caulk because you're going to want to cut the tip off farther back so that you can get more out, okay? Now, another handy thing to have is a bucket of water with a rag in it. Okay, we're all done with the caulking, now we're going to let that dry. Best if you can let it dry overnight, because the last thing you want to do is start messing that caulking up when it's only half dry, and then we'll be ready to prime. Okay, now that the caulking is completely dry, it's time to prime this window. Alright, now you're going to want to have a two, or two and a half, or a three inch brush, whatever you're comfortable with, 
I wouldn't recommend going with a really small brush though because you want a brush that's wide enough to cover these faces in one or at the most two passes. Now the way I paint windows, and you're going to use the same brush techniques when you prime as you will when you paint, is I divide them into legs. Okay, this is the first leg, that's the second leg, that's the third leg, and that's the fourth leg. And you do one leg at a time, the whole thing, meaning all the way from the vinyl there up around to the edge before you move on. Now the first concept that I want you to remember is that all brushing of paint is a two-step process, okay? First you need to lay the paint on the entire length of the leg, get a good coat of paint on there. Then the second step is you need to do one final stroke, I call it the layoff stroke, to smooth everything out and make sure your brush strokes disappear, okay? Now when you do your final layoff stroke, you want to make sure you align your bristles right up in the corner where the natural joint is and brush all the way down past the middle. Then you go to the other end and go back up past the middle and lift your brush off like that, okay? And what that will do is it will prevent you from ever getting start marks in the middle of the piece of trim like that. All your brush strokes will blend together in the middle, alright? Okay, now I got that dusted off and I'm ready to paint. Now I'm going to use the same brushing technique that I showed you when I was priming. Okay, it's all painted, looks great. We're going to get away with one coat here because the color is pretty close to matching the primer and we did a really good job priming to reduce the amount of streaking that we saw from the wood underneath. Now the last thing I'm going to do after this dries is I'm going to have to remove this paper and tape. I'm going to take my little one inch putty knife, real gently run along that edge there to kind of break that bridge if it formed and then I'm going to pull this tape off. Now if there is any paint that seeped underneath the tape onto the vinyl, just take a rag and get it wet and wrap it around your putty knife and use it like that and you can clean that easily, alright? Okay, so now you know how to paint your new wood window trim. Of course you've got a brush to clean up now and so you're going to want to go to my website howtopaintahouseright.com and see my video on how to clean a brush. You can do it right in your kitchen sink. And you're also going to find a lot of other videos on my website, as well as a bunch of other information I've put together to help you paint your house right.